welcome back to my channel so um if you guys how am i gonna start off this video i'm just gonna start off by saying that this is a rant video now when i rant about things it's actually about practical things it's not about um eyeshadow not being pigmented enough and I spent twenty dollars on it. I'm actually ranting about stuff that's that you people should be ranting about. So recently, um if you guys well this is mainly for people that are on social media a lot. I am on social media a lot. I'm a blogger. I like Twitter. I like to know about certain things like that. Um so if you guys remember I remember last year uh Tyga and Kylie, I guess they had broke up, whatever, and we were cracking jokes about it on Twitter. Um, the whole rumor was, and it was a small rumor, the whole rumor was that they broke up because he was trying to FaceTime somebody on his phone or something about Kylie read text messages. Um, she, of course, you know, Kylie has her sister, so of course her sister's gonna be like, oh, you know, like, leave him alone, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing was, um, oh, the joke was that they, he, she had pretty much dumped him on his birthday. So, um, we were laughing because he had bought Kylie, like, uh, what did he buy her? I think was it a Lambo? He bought her some expensive, like, $200,000 car for her birthday when she turned 18. So, we were laughing that on his birthday that she bro he broke up with him. She had broke up with him or whatever. Or they took a break or they split. Whatever the hell they were doing. So, recently, um, some rumors, well, some confirmed information or that we thought was confirmed information came up and we pretty much found out who that he who he was messaging over and what caused him and Kylie to split so it was a 14 year old model Instagram model people keep saying that she's a model she's not a model she's a sp aspiring model the only thing that she models on is her Instagram account so um this aspiring model, I guess, was DMing um, Tyga back and forth. I guess Tyga DM her. They DM back and forth and they exchange numbers. Um, the whole rumor was that she was going to sue him or sue Twitter or some, sue Instagram. Some, to the extent of he had asked to FaceTime her and it made her feel uncomfortable. So that was the rumor that, they, that she was her family or she was going to sue or whatever. So I was on Twitter a little bit, and I don't know, like, it didn't make sense to me. I was like, I don't understand why a 14-year-old family would be suing a grown-ass man. Like, number one, okay, yes, granted, he was very wrong on so many levels. I do not care if that little girl looked like she was 21. She was 14 years old. He shouldn't have been talking to her, period. If it was something that was business, he should have contacted his her parents. He shouldn't be talking to a 14-year-old, having a conversation with a 14-year-old little girl. That's number one. Number two, like, she, she granted, she looks like she's 21. I don't know about y'all, but my 14 year old is not gonna be on Instagram modeling or be an expiring model. If she wants to model, she's gonna do it the traditional way. We're gonna go to photo shoots, we're gonna go to a talent agency, we're gonna do something, but she's not gonna be posting photos by herself on Instagram where there's a whole bunch of grown ass men looking for 14 year olds to, pry, to prey on. That's number, whatever number that was. Um, so that being said, everybody was talking about Twitter, you know, cracking jokes. Uh, Tigga took the first L. There were some people that were saying, well, you know, you can't blame Tigga. She does less. She's one. No, no, bitch. Excuse my language. No. It doesn't matter how old she looks. She's 14 years old. He had no business talking to her. And he knew that she was 14, year old, 14 years old. I do blame the parents. And I do blame the 14-year-old. I do blame the parents for allowing the 14-year-old to be on Instagram like that. I don't know. Like, any of you guys that are the same age as me, I'm 25. When I was 14, I wasn't even allowed. I was barely allowed to have an email account. Like, we, like you, you, guys, you guys that are, like, 15, 16 right now, you don't understand, like, how much you guys, your parents nowadays, let you get away with. When I was 14 years old, I couldn't even... I wasn't even allowed to have a freaking email account. I was not allowed to have an email account until I was like 15, 16. And then even on top of that, my parents still had access to it. So like, like why are, why do 14 year olds that are aspiring models have Instagram accounts with all those followers? Do you guys, did her parents not think that probably like half of those followers are probably like perverts that prey on 14 year olds? Did they not realize that? And I'm not, and, and call me stupid, but I'm pretty sure 
Let me know if I sound stupid for saying this. I am pretty sure that this little girl that had plenty of grown ass men DM her. I'm not dumb. Like, come on now. I'm pretty sure that's not the first grown ass man that's hopped in her DMs. Call me stupid. Let me know if I, that sounds stupid. I, it doesn't sound stupid to me, but it, it's, it pr makes sounds pretty accurate to me. I'm pretty sure that's not the first grown ass man that hopped in her DM. Let me just say that. So the whole thing that started like everybody talking about it on Twitter was the fact that they were saying that um, OK Magazine was saying that they were going that she was going to sue. Now some boy on Twitter that pretty much found her um, he had found her Twitter account. I don't know if it's her real Twitter account or not. I thought it was fake. I posted screenshots or the 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 Twitter, um, his Twitter, the screenshots of the conversation that they had through the DM. But he pretty much did a DM interview. He was asking her like all these questions, like you know, are you are really 15, 14 years old? She was like, yes, I'm really 14 years old. She he was like, are you you know, are you really gonna sue Ty, Tiger or whatever the f his name is? And she was like, no, I'm not suing him. Um, I had came out to speak because OK Magazine had put up this lie saying that I was going to sue him. We're not suing him. Me and him did nothing wrong. We were just having a conversation. I just wanted to tell my side of the story. OK, I get it. 14-year-old wants her side of the story. That's another problem that I have because I remember when, when minors were involved with anything, they wouldn't even speak. Their parents would speak for them. So why are y'all allowing a 14-year-old to speak and tell her side of the story? She's not an adult. She's a child. She shouldn't have been... She, like, really, like, this, I'm so, y'all, like, y'all don't understand, like, how upset I am about this. Like, this is so, this is, like, ridiculous. Like, this is the world that we live in. And then on top of that, on top of that, if, if this was my child and it was some crazy, first of all, my child would have never had no Instagram account, account with all those followers. That's number one. But if that, if I was in a situation where my child was in that situation, I wouldn't even let her speak on that topic. I would just. Like, if, if, I, if anybody needed to speak, it would be me speaking for my child, not my spouse, spe child speaking for herself. Girl barely in high school and pretty much had like a press conference about what happened. Why is a 14-year-old as aspiring mom have a press conference about what happened? Like, really? Like, this is, like, it's crazy. And it, it just makes it look like her family, I don't know if it's her family or her or her family's telling her. Like, it's like she's trying to get her followers up. Like, is that is that what we do now in 2016? Like, try to get our followers up? But, yeah, like, y'all, tell me what y'all think about this. Like, this is, like, this is probably, like, the craziest thing I have ever, like, seen. Ever. Like, this year. This is, like, I'm, let me know some of the tops. This world is a mess. It's a mess. Like, it is crazy. It's a mess, you guys. It is a mess. It is a mess. It's a mess. All I gotta say, the conclusion to this whole video is that Tyga is a sexual predator. Like, let's not forget that wasn't Kylie like 16, 17 when he was talking to her? So y'all need to stop blaming just solely the girl's parents. Because it's obvious this little, this grown ass man got a thing for underage girls. Yeah, um, so leave y'all comments below. Let me know what y'all think. Have y'all heard about the story? What y'all think about the story? Let me know. Please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, Brown Beauty, Brown Beauty 808 Check out my website when it's back up. It's brownbeautyhawaii.com, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.